SNP Ian Blackford. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Watching events unfold across America in recent days and the actions and rhetoric from the American President have been distressing and deeply worrying. We cannot delude ourselves at believing that we are witnessing anything short of a dangerous slide into autocracy. It is in times like these when people look to those they elect for hope, for guidance, for leadership and for action. However, in the seven days since George Floyd was murdered, the UK government has not even offered words. It has not expressed that pain. It has shuttered itself in the hope that no one would notice. The Prime Minister skirted over this earlier in Prime Minister's questions. So can I ask the Prime Minister what representations has he made to his ally Donald Trump? And at the very least, Prime Minister, say it now, Black Lives Matter. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, of course Black Lives Matter, and I totally understand uh, the, uh, the, the anger, the grief uh, that is felt uh, not just in America but around the world and, and in our country as well. I totally understand that uh, and, I, and I get that. And I, I also support, as, as I've said, uh, the right to protest. The only point I would make to the House is that protests should be carried out uh, lawfully. And, and in this country, protests should be carried out in accordance with our rules on social distancing. In Blackford. Well, I'm afraid, Mr Speaker, that the Prime Minister didn't answer the question of what representations has he made to his friend Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. Mr Speaker, it is imperative that the UK is vocal on human rights, freedom to gather and protest, freedom of speech and upholding press freedom in other parts of the world. It would be nothing short of hypocrisy if we were to turn a blind eye to events unfolding in the US. However, actions speak louder than words. And the Prime Minister can shake his hands. Ed, but the UK exports millions of pounds worth of riot control equipment to the US, including tear gas and rubber bullets. The Prime Minister must have seen how these weapons are used on American streets. With the government's own guidance warning against equipment being used in such way, will the Prime Minister urgently review such exports. Yeah. Minister, I, I, I'm happy to, to look into any complaints, but uh, uh, as he knows, all uh, exports are conducted in accordance with the consolidated guidance, and the UK is possibly the most scrupulous country in that respect uh, in, in the world. 